First at 10, the city of Owasso is one of the only Tulsa area communities without a property tax for city projects. Now it wants to get the word out for a sales tax vote for future infrastructure expansion. With an August election approaching, 2 News Oklahoma's Sam Santamajani shows us what the city and residents are saying. <laughs> Plenty of traffic, absolutely. With Owasso's near constant development, a city election will decide whether to permanently keep a 55-100 sales tax, which as city manager Warren Lair explains, has already influenced road projects since 2017. It's a very important uh, election, pretty much will determine the future of the city's uh, funding mechanism. The city does have a one penny capital improvements fund. This would um, kind of relieve that funding and also um, enhance that funding because the demand for transportation uh, infrastructure really never ends. Due to what it describes as rising construction costs in recent years, the city names this road, 96th Street North from Garnett to Mingo, as a top priority. Without the tax, layer says, accommodating the city's growth gets complicated. It would expire. It would. Uh... It would definitely uh, hamper our, or really our, a major source of our funding, and um, it would slow down transportation projects. The wish list of all road projects includes installing a median, wider sidewalks, and bike lanes. The city also envisions the Ranch Creek Family Trail to connect to other county trailheads. A key point is that about 69% of our shoppers come from outside of the city, so as a sales tax, a lot of the cost of this infrastructure, transportation in this case, is borne by visitors to Owasso. Like with many tax proposals, this one gets a mixed reaction online. Owasso resident Mike Dykstra also sees the pros and cons of the tax. But, you know, with like you were saying, with expansion of the road and a nature trail, I mean, Owasso needs more stuff like that. So, um, and if it's going to be put to good use, if it's going to continue doing stuff for our community, I don't mind it at all. Lear says the city hopes the August 8th election brings out engaged voters regardless of their preference. In Owasso, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.